Hello, my name is Helen Francis and I am the Domain Leader for Maths and Science at WJC. This presentation gives you an overview of the new GCSE Science Suite in Wales. Information will be provided on the key features of the qualifications in the suite, including summaries of assessment, practical work, assessment objectives, question types and resources. The qualifications in the suite are GCSE Biology, Chemistry, Physics, GCSE Science, Double Award, GCSE Applied Science, Double Award, GCSE Applied Science, Single Award. Each learner will need to follow one of the four pathways just mentioned. These are the only qualifications that will count towards the two science elements of the new capped point score for reporting from 2018. If a learner takes the triple science route, i.e. GCSE Biology, Chemistry, Physics, this will be equal to three GCSEs and learners need to take all three subjects. Both GCSE Science Double Award and GCSE Applied Science Double Award are equal to two GCSEs. The GCSE Applied Science Single Award qualification is equal to one GCSE Learners following this qualification will only be able to fill in one of the science elements in the performance measures. Another qualification available for learners is the revised entry level certificate in science. It will not count towards the two science elements of the new capped point score for reporting from 2018. All of the specifications and sample assessment materials are available to download from our website. Key features of the new qualifications are They are standalone. Units can only contribute to one qualification, not multiple qualifications. Papers are tiered, foundation and higher, as they currently are. There will be no exams available in January. However, there will be an opportunity to take exams halfway through the qualifications, for example, in the summer of Year 10. There is similar content at the start of the qualifications to allow movement to take place in the first term of teaching. There is a minimum weighting for the assessment of mathematical skills which varies across the different subject areas. There is specified practical work which learners need to complete. The 25% controlled assessment unit has been replaced with a 10% practical assessment which will be marked by WJEC. Practical skills will also be assessed in the written exams. Quality of extended response, QER questions, will be present which will assess the learner's ability to construct their responses in a logical sequenced manner. Scientific literacy, PISA-style questions will be present in the written exams. In the applied science qualifications, there will be a 20% task-based assessment which will be marked by WJC. Each topic within the new specifications is laid out in a similar manner. Alongside the actual subject content, the following guidance is provided to aid the teaching of each topic. There is a working scientifically section which highlights the practical skills which could be developed in the topic. There is a mathematical skills section which identifies the mathematical skills which feature in the topic. In addition, if appropriate, specified practical work is listed at the end of the topic. There are three units in the new WJEC GCSE Biology, Chemistry and Physics qualifications. The first two units are both written examinations and they each contribute 45%. They are worth 80 marks each and they have an assessment time of 1 hour 45 minutes. Reading time for the PISA style questions has been built into the assessment time. The third unit is the practical assessment which contributes 10% to the qualifications. There are seven units in the new WJEC GCSE Science Double Award qualification. With the exception of Unit 7, which is the practical assessment, all units are written examinations which each contribute 15%. They are worth 60 marks each and they have an assessment time of 1 hour 15 minutes. 
Units 1 to 3 are effectively the Year 10 subject content in Biology, Chemistry and Physics. And Units 4 to 6 are the Year 11 subject content in Biology, Chemistry and Physics. Unit 7, the Practical Assessment, contributes 10% to the qualification. Content overlaps between the GCSE Science Double Award Qualification and the GCSE Biology, Chemistry and Physics qualifications. For example, all of the Unit 1, Biology 1 content in GCSE Science Double Award is included in the Unit 1 of GCSE Biology. The same applies for Chemistry and Physics 2. There are five units in the new WJEC GCSE Applied Science Double Award Qualification. The first three units are all written examinations. Units 1 and 2 both contribute 22.5%, whilst Unit 3 contributes 25% to the qualification. They are all worth 75 marks and they each have an assessment time of 1 hour 30 minutes. Unit 4 is a task-based assessment which contributes 20% to the qualification and Unit 5 is the practical assessment which contributes 10%. Content overlaps between Unit 1 of this qualification and the content at the start of each of the first units of GCSE Biology, Chemistry and Physics along with the content at the start of Units 1 to 3 of the Science Double Award qualification. There are four units in the new WJC GCSE Applied Science Single Award Qualification. The first two units are written examinations. They are both worth 75 marks and have an assessment time of 1 hour 30 minutes. Unit 3 is the task-based assessment, which contributes 20% to the qualification. And Unit 4 is the practical assessment, which contributes 10%. The Entry Level Certificate in Science consists of three units. Unit 1 is a written examination which is marked by WJC. It is worth 25% of the qualification and has an assessment time of one hour. Unit 2 consists of four end of unit tests which are 30 minutes long. They are worth 60% of the qualification and they are to be marked by the centre. The tests will change on an annual basis. Unit 3 is a practical assessment. It is worth 15% of the qualification and again the assessments are to be marked by the centre. They will change on an annual basis too. The content in the Entry Level Certificate in Science is a subset of the GCSE Applied Science Single Award content, so the two qualifications are co-teachable. Now to making entries. Some units will be available for the first time in summer 2017. These are the units which have been identified in the summaries of assessment as having a possible assessment opportunity in the summer of year 10. Mixed tiering is allowed. All units will be available in summer 2018. And the qualifications will be awarded for the first time in summer 2018. At least 40% of the assessment must be taken at the end of the course to satisfy the requirement for terminal assessment. Candidates are allowed to reset each unit only once prior to certification and the better result will count. All of the specifications are unitised, so the UMS scale will be used. The results of individual units will be reported on the UMS scale. To award the final overall grade, the uniform marks obtained for each unit will be added up and the grade awarded based on this total. The GCSE Biology, Chemistry, Physics and Applied Science Single Award qualifications will be reported on an 8-point scale from A star to G. Both the Science Double Award and Applied Science Double Award qualifications will be reported on a 15-point scale. This slide summarises the 15-point scale. It shows how the UMS total equates to the different subject awards.
The new specifications have been developed to allow practical work to be an integral part of the teaching and learning. So what is the practical assessment? It will be available in the first half of the spring term each year, i.e. January to February. It will contain tasks that will change on an annual basis. It is an untiered assessment. Each task comprises two sections. Section A involves obtaining results and Section B involves analysing and evaluating results. Learners studying the GCSE Biology, Chemistry, Physics and Applied Science Single Award qualifications will have to submit one practical task. Whilst those studying Science Double Award and Applied Science Double Award qualifications will have to submit two tasks. So what is the task-based assessment? It will be available in the second half of the autumn term each year, i.e. November to December. It is a tiered assessment. There will be a choice of two packs each year, which will change on an annual basis, and learners will need to submit one pack. This slide lists the assessment objectives for all of the GCSE qualifications in the suite. This slide lists the weighting of the assessment objectives for all of the GCSE qualifications in the suite. A number of different question types will feature in the assessment. Short and extended answer questions. Data response questions. Quality of extended response QER questions. These questions will be clearly identified and referred to on the front page of the examination paper. They will, will be worth six marks each. There will be one of these questions on each tier paper. Questions involving the working scientifically skills from Appendix A. Questions involving the mathematical skills from Appendix B. PISA style questions. There are many resources that are available or will be available to support the teaching of the new GCSE Science Suite. These include interactive guidance for teachers, a question paper database, updated revision guides and textbooks. Also, teacher technician guidance sheets for each of the specified practical tasks along with pupil worksheets will be available. We send out email bulletins on a regular basis giving important updates and news items. You can subscribe to these on the WJC GCSE Science webpage. Finally, there are various websites that you can access directly. Should you have any questions regarding the new GCSE Science Suite, then please don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you for listening.